everyone, it's Allie, and today I am going to be making Thin Mint Protein Balls. And before we get started, as always, I am going to put my hair up and I'm going to put my apron on. Alright, now before we get started, here are some things you're going to need. Started, um, some of the ingredients in this recipe are not ones you'd find in a normal kitchen, but if you get these ingredients and you try the recipe, I promise you won't regret it. They're one of my favorites when I was younger because my mom used to make them, and they're super good. Alright, so first you're going to need 8 pitted dates. Mine weren't pitted, they still had the pits in them, so I had to cut mine in half and take the pits out. Um, next, you're going to need 2 tablespoons of almond milk. A lot of people don't keep almond milk in their house, but if you get it, it's like not bad in like cereal. Drinking it plain is kind of gross, but I mean, and you might not want to get a whole thing of almond milk. I don't think 1% milk wouldn't be bad, but almond milk is what's in the recipe, so that's what I use. Um, 2 servings of any chocolate protein powder, and you need... 1 fourth cup cocoa powder and 1 half teaspoon peppermint extract. Peppermint extract is actually really clear so you can't even see that's in here, but it is. And you need 1 cup of cashews, unsalted works better. And then it says 1 tablespoon chia seeds, but I only had chia powder and so I'm hoping it doesn't taste any different than when you use chia seeds. I mean when you put them in the food processor it's only going to blend them up anyways. So I don't think it's gonna matter, but. Okay, so basically this recipe is really simple. After you've got all your ingredients, which is probably the hard part, you just put them in a fruit processor and then you're gonna roll them into balls and store them in the freezer. Okay, so I've got all of my ingredients in my food processor and now I'm going to put the top on and mix them together. I was scared they weren't all gonna fit, but they do fit and we're gonna go, oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it mix all together. Until it's all mixed, you might have to stop it and then put the stuff on the bottom so it mixes all in together. Alright, well I move my finished dough into a bowl. It should look like this. It should be just the right consistency to form a ball, but it's not like too, like, it doesn't feel like normal dough. It's a little bit sticky, but it's going to taste really good. Alright, so I'm really rolling it into balls and I'm going to put it in this container to put in the freezer. recipe there's not like a certain amount of time you just put them in the freezer it just says store in freezer so if you wanted to eat it right away you could um this recipe is probably the healthiest one i've made on camera so far um but they're really good like i remember thinking that i would hate them the first time thinking that all these ingredients sounded gross i mean i was a child so that makes sense i'm still a child but <laughs> um but they're really good and i would 100% recommend this recipe. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye.